Bruh. <laughs> what the f I wouldn't mind that RNG, bro. So this is one of the games where I wanted to work out what he's doing wrong. What this guy's doing that's 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 got him a shitty game like this. Because this game sucked. This was like a 24 minute 20 second or something like that. So, um... We, we're gonna watch, we're obviously gonna watch his his wins, um, the two wins that he got in stat games. But then we'll watch his this game and then another game where he got eleventh, so we can sort of get an idea of where he's going right, where he's going wrong. Twenty uh, fourth place, two elims after twenty three minutes forty nine. That's that's oh, that's a twenty four minute basically close to zero point game. So, uh, so yeah, there's there's lots to unpack there. I think hopefully we'll we'll have some. Some decent stuff we can learn from. And if not, then at least I, I can get my content out for the day. Alright. First game absolutely hooks. Jumps in the car. He's got, got himself to a good spot to find some surge. Immediately, this is a this is a EU classic. Just run to a hill somewhere near center and see if you can find some surge. Alright. So this, this is the kind of shit that I want to see. I want to see can he make rotations like this by himself. And that's a tough rotation to make because he's not on dead side. There's a pretty decent distribution of plays. He's going to be caught in congested side. Gives himself nicely to the center. So I'm a little confused about where he goes wrong here. Let's let's sort of see where the next couple zones pull. And pull center fourth too. So we've got a couple of really nice zones here. He's got good heals, fantastic guns. His mats aren't the greatest, but he's got... Is that three? Can someone confirm for me whether or not that is three? I can't read that. My eyes suck. Someone tell me. Is that three pads? I think that's three pads. Yep, three. All right. Yeah, that's three. That's three. Thanks, chat. Gets a nice little freebie. He's got three pads. I'm, I'm struggling to see where this goes wrong. I mean, he's sent a fourth. He has to use his pad here. If he if he tries to not tries to not use a pad, he's he's um he's delusional. Wasted thirty builds there on a shit pad. Like, you always do the basics, like check your head and all that sort of stuff is always important. But, um... <clears throat> so I think he's actually set him up, set himself up really, really well. I'm interested to see how he, how he goes wrong with this. What an absolute stain. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, like I, I encourage, I encourage all the power boys to be to be patient on on people trying to pad, because they're just the freest kills. Like, it's particularly if you're holding whites, which any any like tier one player at the moment should be doing. I also think he should have just taken his time there. Should have just taken his time, um, and just tanked a couple couple more because that guy. Sorry, again, I'm going back and forth, but that you know that could actually be the difference right there. The match that he lost by not looting that guy. You have the two meat kits. Just tank a little bit. Tank a little bit of zone. Take a time. One eighteen. You don't have to place the pad now. You got a hundred health. Tank the tank the shot. Hundred eighty health. And like off that, he's max, max, max with another pad. And I know it's like circumstantial. That guy might that guy might have had zero. You know, he might have had like fifty builds himself. But everything adds up. Um, so that's 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 probably the first big big mistake we've seen. Um, because mid-game was good. Decision-making all throughout was pretty damn good. You want to use your next pad for second moving. Um, so trying to, pr trying to preserve a decent amount of mats for this zone is a great idea. So there you go. So he's taking a, a nice little, um, nice little cheap tarp. So really, actually some really, really good decisions being made here. Um, that we've seen so far. Decent amount of mats being used there. But he's got another pad, so he essentially gets sick and moving entirely for free and another important point he can play the med kit recycle as well where he can sort of play play back zone be the furthest back and find some easy kills that way <clears throat> so he's obviously got himself up i really like how he's done this a lot of t a lot of people will stay will not get up and try to check their heads early and they'll they'll check as they're trying to pad but he's got up cleared some layers checked his head early and again, you can obviously tell he, he's always on the look for kills. Short pads himself to front side. And now, I think I, I personally probably would have preferred a high pad there. Just to give himself some more time. 
in the air. Um, potentially look for something else. I mean, he's got his priorities right. He needs to get through, but... Zone pulls back to him. He's got to immediately look for the med kit, but he doesn't have enough health. He's going to lose his gunfight here, isn't he? Got zero mats. I, I, I got to be honest. I don't necessarily think anything he did up to, uh, like through that late game there, was necessarily bad. I think I would have high padded and specifically looked for someone to land on for a refresh, particularly with around 250 mats left. I think you've got to be actively looking for it at around that point. Um, but I think I think one thing that I learned from that is is potentially his almost going too far the other way there where he was trying to be a little bit too passive um and i i really think the big moment the big moment was not going for the for the the refresh there when he could have because he had full mats there and that would have been another 500 builds he wouldn't have been pressured and you, the worst time to be pressured is on a zone transition you never want to be trying to look for a refresh as zones about to transition because at that point it could pull absolute max and if you're at, at you know particularly if you're at a at a, at a Say zone's coming this way, and it's pulled far max that way again. You haven't cleared layers in this way, and you need a refresh early. It's game over for you at that point. You've got to start dropping to low on 50-50. Um, so, but the thing is... Bro, what is his RNG? What the f***? Pulls a gold spaz last game, and now he's got a gold tack. And we know in his final game he gets a gold spaz as well. <laughs> what the f***? Look at that zone one. That's a nice zone one from. So, so he's got. Look at his loadout. He's got near max shield. He's got gold tack, purple scar, near max heals. He can use a car to rotate. Right, all four x this. There's no point watching him. He's he's basically farming. I'm I'm very, I'm very intrigued by him cutting away from what we know is dead side into congestion and into into players on purpose when we can see up here. There is absolutely no need for him. And maybe maybe he's just really intent on potentially finding a couple of kills or something like that. But I, I totally 100% understand him looking for the kills here with the loot that he's got. There's no point in him, in him not searching a little bit. But going out of his way to cut all the way down to here and then essentially throw the advantage he had where he could easily have played to a better area on the map. I think there's a slight, slight improvement he can make there in terms of sort of mid-game pathing. And now, see, this is this is the exact scenario that I'm, I'm I'm talking about, right? Where he had the advantage. He could have been he could have been the guy here. And this is exactly when it, you, you want to be on that hill there because if it continues to pull, you got an easy rotation. If it pulls this way, that's not hopefully not too bad, right? I mean, playing coral zones is actually I think probably the worst zones in the game. I think they're even worse than bottom right in my opinion. But um, he sort of threw the advantage, the potential advantage he had. And he's also thrown all of the awesome loot he had as well in terms of like the hill, the heels and shit that he built up. Um, so to go searching like that, I think is totally unnecessary. But I mean, look at his mats as well. Doesn't have max metal anymore. He's got obviously got good um, got good wood, but that's not necessarily important. What's important is your hard mats, particularly in solos. So a little bit, little bit disappointing to see him make decisions like that because I really thought that turning a you know a new leaf about playing a little bit a little bit less aggressive so to go out there and really search for something when there was really no need zone absolutely hooked so again this is the scenario that i'm talking about where you want to set yourself up for worst case worst case is that it continues to fucking hook right so he's having to fight his way through all that now when he really could have been the first guy to set himself up but the thing that i'm i'm now really worried about is he's got no um no middle and now he's gonna fight for it obviously confident picks up the kill the thing is i this is this is the time you don't want to be trying to do that you don't want to be trying to fight around third zone you want to be just, just be looking to put yourself in a really good spot and set yourself up really well for in game if you want to fight do it in zones one and then potentially two if you've set yourself up in zone one as well um finds himself in here doesn't have to tarp up which is nice but again when you think about the position he literally could have been sitting on this from from the start this this he could have been on here right from the start this is a spot that i said straight away should be looking to get on in second zone Ideally, you always save your pad for first moving. That is that is the best case scenario. The reason I say he pads this is because I'm looking at I'm looking at his mats and I'm thinking, well, to be honest, I don't really want him using all of them on a half half rotation. And there's going to be like everyone's going to be burning a pad here. Go on, jump on and mate. You know you want to get in there, mate. Get the f in. Picks up his kill. 
And see, here's the thing, right? When you when you pick up when you pick up refreshes like that on people who've just been lobby sprayed by the whole fucking lobby, the issue is that they've been lobby sprayed by the whole fucking lobby, and you don't pick up much in return. I think he picked up just the just the siphon metal, basically had nothing left there. Now picking up the two floppers, don't like that. I'd much rather he can, you know, much rather he played a med med kit recycle or something like that instead. So he picks up two more kills here. So th this this is not a terrible game, but I'm also looking at the at the potential he's got and the potential he had. And, and I, I I do feel like this was I don't want to say it's a throw-on game, but I feel like he could have got so much more out of it. When I look at where he lands, where his own pull, where he could have got to first, I think I think it's it's underwhelming for for what it could have been. Um, and even then, it's still like a top it's like a top eleven I think or, or a top ten close to it. Playing nice and patient. It's good to see. That's not that's not a way you describe him recently in the in the past couple of months as patient. So good to see him being nice and patient and and taking his time on rotating, looking to potentially recycle if he needs to. Takes a good chunk. And zone absolutely hooks, which does kind of fuck him over a little bit. But again, it's the idea of of balancing like balancing the refresh versus the the current material thing here. So. This is the time, right here, where he needs to be actively looking for his refresh, right? Because any time you're tarping, any time you're moving ahead, any time you're, you're moving in late game generally, it costs you mats. 30, with, you know, 300 mats left, you can burn through that in the span of 5 seconds if you're not careful. And we, it, we saw that exactly there, where he needs to go for this refresh right here, in my opinion. He can't sit back, he can't not go for something in this stage. He's got to be confident he's got the right loadout for it. Zones of Bouch Transition. I said that before. The worst time to, to, to not go for a refresh is right on the transition, because if zone absolutely hooks like it did, it, it's much harder to find those refreshes. So I think he probably should have gone for something there, simply because when he's having to full tarp here, one, two, three, he's building three... That's a four, like I said, one, two, three, four. That's costing him four per tile. He only had 300 a second ago, and now he's down to 150. Immediately cut him in half, right? And now Zone's absolutely hooked. He's got 150 builds left. He takes some sort of pressure, and straight away, he's gone down to zero. See how fast that can happen when you've got... That amount of mats left, or 300, 300 uh, back when he did, you've got to be actively looking. All right, you've got to be actively looking for your refresh. You can't be sitting back. You can't be looking to play passive there. That's when Mongrel needs the ego that he has. Right, that's when he needs to be saying, "I can get in here and I can get this kill, um, and I, I can um, find that refresh easily." You don't want to be playing zero mats back. You know, th this is never a situation you want to be in. You want to be proactive to the point where you, where you make this not a possibility, right? So for him, it's about balancing that that aggression that he's really, really well known for, and then the you know sort of playing a little bit more passive. You don't want to have to rely on finding a god refresh like this back zone on zero mats. That's the last thing you want to do. You want to have the theory down to the point where you can get this refresh before you need it. You want to be working for it before you need it. And now his priorities change. Again, keep an eye on this. Keep an eye on this. I said you should be actively looking for about 300 to 250 mats. That's when you should be actively looking for your refresh. And now that's what that's what I want to see. This is exactly what I want to see. Right, being actively looking for it. If you can't get it, that's fine. You can move on. But what you don't want to be in the situation is, again, like we got, get in that situation like he was in before. Where it's actually just just not worth getting it. There you go. Super aggressive, super. Um, you see, he picked up 300 mats, and look look at where he's at again. He's at. And see, th this he just needs to he just needs to be confident in his aim here and take that fight. Because he's at nine builds, and he's never going to make it through the game with that. He should he should have trusted his aim, trusted his shit, fought that. And he's got some of the best aim in the in the game. So he survives some stuff on on zero builds, but I think he's I think he goes down in ninth here. So zone pulls back, so he does get some free placement essentially because he's just running through an old tarp, um, and just doesn't quite. But that's that's the sort of that's the sort of you know full send I would have liked to see earlier, just because he can he can get that kill. He doesn't have to sit back and 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 not go for that. 